Right up to it, right up there. This sign right here, this white sign. I'm gonna go quickly deface it. <laughs> so hopefully I won't get in trouble for this. All right. <laughs> I hope that I would be the person to bring the high-speed internet to Muskogee. Sometimes it takes somebody who can see the bigger picture and, you know, stand up about it. Yeah, you don't always have to wear a headdress, you know, to make a difference in your community and be chief. You use the internet? Here, pass these out for me then. For free internet. Bringing in fiber to one of these communities enhances everything. I've lived in the big cities. I've, you know, lived in the real world. And when I come back here, and everything's all inside out and backwards, right? So all the towers point away from Musquachis. That's why nothing works here. Wifey goals. <laughs> Any sort of ISP takes a lot of money, and then someone like me, I don't got money. Uh, I'm just, you know, the small guy right now. I'm not even employed. You got a poor guy trying to, you know, steal from the rich and give to the poor with nothing. Hello. I offer uh, advertising opportunities. So that's what this is if you guys are interested. So who set this up? Me. I run it and I pay for it out of my own pocket for the community. Why? Yeah, Bruce Buffalo. Why would you do that though? Why not? Really? Yeah. <laughs> so why are you doing this? <laughs> I told him, you know, give it out for free. You gotta make a difference where you can and when you can, right? Why not? You know, it's free Wi-Fi. I just got to go get it set up now. <laughs> the Lord of the Land. <laughs> okay. All right. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> I'll need it. <laughs> Oh, uh, as well as I expected, uh, we'll get back to you soon. But they did email you before and say... Yeah, they said they liked my idea and then, you know, I never really heard back from them. They're not going to actively support me because I speak up and I have a voice. I'm like an agitator of sorts, right? But here I'm just, you know, speaking up for my own people and, you know, what's right instead of, you know, what uh, what's appropriate, I guess. There is that little divide, I guess, from the older generation to the newer generation. It's so new to us that they won't really understand it. You know, I guess you gotta start where you can and, I don't know, I guess plant that seed, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. 
<laughs> Crazy stuff here. Some really, really technical. If you had loads and loads and loads of money, would you still do this all yourself? Yeah. Yeah, because if you let other people do it for you, you're never going to learn. And, you know, I'd like to do stuff and know how to do it on my own, right? So that's why I love to do a lot of trial and error with stuff. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? It's burning my hands. We're like right smack dab in the middle of the province. There should be no reason why it's cut off. You can barely use your cell phones. You know? That means they don't they don't want to put any money or any infrastructure on the First Nations reserves whatsoever. And it makes me mad, you know, Canada hasn't done enough for its First Nations. You know, it's third world. That's the digital divide to me, right? Our neighbors were asking me how come there's reporters here. I was gonna say something. Uh, they're doing a bit on how what it's like to live next door to shitty neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They're just doing a report on this internet thing. It'll screw into this to ground, but then this has to be grounded somehow, right? Oh, yeah. For like network infrastructure, I just got a paid access point and I connect that to a network switch and then I fundraise for two access points. They connect to each other and then you can get the signal wirelessly, right? Because you need something to get your signal out. I'll be able to get all these ones and then all these ones for sure up until like the uh, thing and then possibly these houses along, right? Ah. Okay. Oh man, it's only one, one uh, bar, you know. Man, is it a hell of an age we live in, really? Think about it. Couldn't do this stuff in the 70s. It's Really, I'm proud of him. This is uncle. He's one of my best nephews. Actually, they all are, but he's one of the best. The brainiest, sorry. That's the right word to say. Mm -hmm. I hope say by the end we get somewhere with this and, you know, some actually good changes come. I'm sure they will. It's, I'm sure, really. There's no way. The only way it could fail is if it doesn't work. Yeah, that's what I yeah. say. Yeah, if my system's that's down it. and it's not working, people are going to get turned off and they're going to start. And I, I really do hope that this works. Not just for his sake, but for the whole town site, really. It's really, really it'll be a good thing for that to be in the town site. That's true, yeah. Toot to the switch. Power's in. Just the here. But you can usually, once you get it hooked up, you can just look at the lights. And yeah, that's what There'll be three lights and then that's... The letter T. Yeah. the letter T. So if I say the word grief or loss, what kind of things come to mind? Death is an obvious one, for sure. Loss of respect for somebody else or yourself, even. 
That's a huge one in our community, I'm telling you right now. Drugs and alcohol is a loss. Usually people turn to those things because of the other grieving experiences in their life. Unemployment. A lot of people want to provide for their kids, and there's not a lot of jobs available. There's all these things going on, and nobody really knows how to talk about it, right? Now is the time to do something about our hurt, right? I don't want to wait until it's worse. I don't want to wait, you know? Loss of identity. The impact of European people and colonization and all that. Because there used to be ceremonies that your people had to deal with certain things, and there was a loss of ceremonies. Living the life I've been, I've been on a run for a lot of my life, non warrants and stuff. It'd be hard pressed to come across someone who's got a happy story about this place with regards to the quality of life and the lack of employment and the alcohol and drug problems and suicides. That's a pretty, pretty heavy cycle to break. So how many in your family do you think like were in and out of care? Mm, pretty much like all the kids, all our mothers and sisters' kids. They were into solvent abuse in the early 90s. I remember as a kid, they were all sniffing and we'd be running around starving. And it was the halfway house it was called. And I remember getting picked up from there from child welfare too. <laughs> so, you know, it's been quite the process going in and out of that. That's why I make sure, you know, I'll never let my kids go through that go through the system, no way. Being on the roof. He is fixing. I know. Santa Claus, but with no presents. <laughs> Just a gift of information. <laughs> if he was down at Chindi, then he'll be Santa Claus. Come on. I know if it's going to take forever to load this up. How's it going, Bruce? Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously need a, uh, something here. <clears throat> this is turning out um, to not work. I wonder if I should just buy a cloud key. It's like a hundred and something bucks and it does pretty much what this does and I can just leave it here. And I'm pretty sure I can be able to connect to it. I know, <laughs> I know, I yeah, know. It's hard. Can't really be spending on money like this. Yeah, I use a lot. The uh, initial equipment was donated, but all this extra stuff, you know, comes out of our own pockets. All right. For this, and then, yeah. <laughs> if it don't work, then it don't work. All right. It's 160 to get back. 160 to get back? Okay. Yep. You know, when the money will go, runs out, then, you know, um, you know, it runs out. See, that's it. I'm not even employed yet. I'm putting all my money that I'm giving into this. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting all that stuff set up here. Is my mom internet? Yeah. Well, the community is internet, actually. Everybody can use it.
excited about it though? I'm kind of really uh, uh, weary, I guess maybe. Because I'll. Um, I'm kind of going to be the only friggin' First Nations guy there, right? You don't really that, right? <laughs> Yeah. How can you not get past that? Being in a room full of white people. Uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of racism. You always run into it. It's pretty much everywhere. You're uh, you're in a pretty bad mood today. Ah, uh, I'm all right. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, I don't know, I'm just, uh... Uh... Money! Hello, my name is Bruce Buffalo. I'm uh, from Muscochise, Alberta. I represent the Four Nations from Muscochise, and I've been invited by Dr. Rob from the U of A. So thank you for having me in attendance, and I'm here to uh, learn what you guys are doing in uh, terms of actually servicing First Nations and where this is going in the future. Thank you. So there's a lot of claims being made that, oh no, there's no digital divide, right? 99% um, of Canadians are connected. This problem, I think, is going to get significantly worse unless it's addressed. So let's not get caught up in broadband and towers, but what's it going to do for your community? Young kids staying, businesses coming back, it's an enabler to do it. And utilizing industry and having these discussions. That idea of you having to climb up on your roof, you know, distribute this to your neighbors and stuff, it's pretty, I think it's pretty ridiculous to a lot of people that we have to do that still, given that you're so close to a major center. I mean, within Canada, it's pretty shameful. So I think what you're doing is really good service to the community. And there should be supports for that kind of work. It's really, it's really good. Yeah, we, we think along the same lines, come, coming from total opposite worlds, so to speak, right? It's a good day then. Yeah, really good day. Surprised. <laughs> Comparing those visually. Um, open versus closed networks, so this idea of an open network being kind of, if you look at those layers, you can own the physical infrastructure. All the responses have been getting there, you know, positive and, you know, people want to help. So, you know, it's awesome. That's cool. Did you think it was going to be like that before you came? No. I kind of thought I'd just be sitting in the back, you know, doing whatever, right? <laughs> so yeah, uh, pretty good. It's enjoyable, actually. Bust it up ladder, that's how you get done. Hey, provisioning. It's finally talking to each other. It'll be good for uh, the next two years, I'm guessing. 
Well, it's pretty good getting it off the ground and um, alleviate all these issues. <laughs> a lot of people are asking me, why are you giving out every, all this stuff for free, right? You gotta break some eggs to make an omelette, I would say. So. All right, good to go. In the studio at this time, we have Bruce Buffalo. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning. I service Knott's Landing and I service behind the fire hall. Well, I'm running 24 hours a day, seven days a week to provide free services to, this, to the community. Or we can build our own network from the inside out and employ our own people, provide jobs and provide a service to the community. When I think about my users on the system, you know, I hope they're using it to enjoy themselves on the internet or connect to each other or, you know, get information from the internet. Oh, geez, it was a nine months long drunk I would just got off of. But after I got the internet here, I really don't feel like getting drunk every night, you know? It's really kind of funny. But now I'm addicted to the goddamn internet. And, well, it's still better than being drunk. <laughs> <laughs> One day we can be on the forefront of this technology and have this quality of life, these economic benefits that our own people can use to better their lives. I might come into some walls here down the road. At least somebody will notice that I, you know, took it on myself to try to make something happen with nothing, right? Air. Where's my thing? You guys have phones? What? Yeah, I got a phone. There's free Wi-Fi here. I'll give you a thing. For where was it? Where is it? It's, right, it's around this area here and in, in Knott's Landing. Yeah, we have phones. We have a lot of phones. Yeah. Oh, is it a Wi-Fi code? No, it's free. You don't need it. That's just one. Take one. I got well, what's these the out. Wi-Fi name? Muscochise Fiber. Where is it? It comes off that house. That house? Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna check Wi Fi. So you can use it, yeah. It's free. No password. No password. We have our own Wi Fi too. <laughs> <laughs>